This is Wanda, also known as Jamel. I've got many requests on YouTube asking me to do a commentary and offer some gameplay tips to a lot of people. So that's basically what I'm going to do. I'm just going to really be introducing myself this game and talking about general game battles and the Serto. I've also got somebody here commentating with me. His gamer tag is Tonka. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Go ahead, Tonka. Hello. I'm uh, Luke, also known as Tonka. I've uh, come from game battles uh, from COD 4, you know, moved my way up to uh, Deserto Modern Warfare 2. Okay, and, thank you. And today we'll, uh, you know, be giving a few tips on some videos. Today, Demolition Terminal. Uh, well, yeah, this is just a game of my team, Validas. On Deserto, we're ranked fifth. We're just scrimming against a team called FM. They're a really good up-and-coming team uh, who originated from the originated from game battles, just like most teams and most people who ask me about uh, ask me to do commentary. So I'm just gonna generally just help some teams out on this map and just tell them what to do. Like at the beginning of this, you will notice how there's no action at A. That's because everybody likes to push B. And you always want to get the harder bomb down, which obviously is B on this map. Would you agree, Tonka? Yeah, definitely. I think a um, lot of teams decide to push B at the start because it's a lot, e um, a lot easier to get A down um, when the whole of their team is defending it on their own. So if you get B down straight away um, and, you know, you get the extra time, it's, you know, kind of the best thing to do on this map. Yeah, you just see me there picking up a nice little two-piece in the plane, just trying to clear things up for my team. As you can see, I'm pushing through. But but just going off what I was saying a second ago, some teams do, however, go to A straight away. If you've yeah. ever played against Infused, who are ranked second on the Serto, they always push A or the easier bomb site first. They go for the time extension. It's really up to you what you want to do. So, Tonka, if you was playing with your team right now, where would you lot go at the beginning of a game? A or B? Uh, I always like to get um, a quick push on A and trying to get someone on red roof, you know, so we can get the spawn trap going at the start. Um, you know, the extra time's always handy, you know, when you you want to get in B. Um, yeah, so push in A fast as possible, get that extra time, try and get in some good spawn trap positions. And, you know, just, just generally try and get the A bomb down as fast as possible. Okay, well, as you can see in this video, FM have left it really late. They haven't got a bomb down. That's one of the reasons why a lot of teams go to AFUS on on this map. Because it's the easier bomb site, most teams will only have one at A. Like, you just saw me there. I was the only guy at A. Because it is the easier bomb site, and we usually send three to B. And we're going to see now whether they're able to get a bomb down. Yeah, like like you say, it's a big mistake if if you just go B and you know you don't leave yourself enough time with you know one minute. Say so you'd normally forget about B and just uh, get A down as fast as you can. But as they as you can see there, they um, made the big mistake of not leaving themselves enough time and ended up not getting a bomb down. Yeah, one of my main things is when I play with my team is uh, we give uh, the harder bomb site we push it for a minute. If it doesn't work for a minute, that's when we start considering A. If we get a good spawn at the harder bomb site, we'll keep on pushing it. But otherwise, you don't want to do what FM just did. You want to make sure that you at least get one bomb site down. You, it's it's important, really important to get that time extension. Yeah. yeah. And like, like you can see yourself here pushing into the, their spawn, getting the spawn trap where you've got B down. So. You know, your teammates can push around through the long call and get this plant on A, which, you know. Yeah, as you see me there, just picking up a little four-piece. And yeah, as Tonka said, when you're playing on any map, it is really important to get somebody who can either be in their spawn or near their spawn, just spawn kidding like what I am. Because as long as I'm standing there, they're not going to be able to go past me. As long as nobody pushes into their spawn too far and messes up the spawn, then you'll be able to spawn kill them the whole game just like that for the whole 45 seconds and then B's yeah. done and now we've got about 3 minutes or 4 minutes to go and push yeah. A yeah yeah and uh, I mean while, while you're still spawn trapping there you, your team can move around through the long call and get on red roof and start helping you with the spawn trap and whatever so you know you try and control their spawn and 
you know, get the bomb down as fast as you can. Yeah, as you can see here, we're just pushing up as a team, really. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say, like, if you're pushing towards a bomb site like A, and that's the only bomb left, I wouldn't say doing a sneaky plant is really as is is really as good. You might as well make sure that your team's got a good setup, and then yeah. get the bomb down, like what I'm doing here. Although uh, United just died, top escalators, but now we're just defending. We're just gonna try and defend that bomb site, as you can see, and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, when you when you push an A bomb on attacking, you want to try and have one watching the long corridor and bottom red room, and also you want someone top escalators watching um, outside by the police car and coming into bottom escalators, and also someone watching library and Burger Town, so no one flanks behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's those are the basic setups for this map. When you get A down, you need someone long haul, as Tonka said. You need someone top escalators. Those two are the most important positions. If you can get somebody on that red roof, he will be able to cause havoc because he will be able to spawn kill them as soon as they spawn. Like, yeah. like right now, I'm middle red. I most probably won't be able to do as much damage as being in top red, but middle red still be able to hopefully get a few spawn kills. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you're using a UMP as well, you you want to be more lower to the ground instead of high up, you know, because you lose accuracy being higher up and further away, as you know, because you've only got a small aim and uh, it's not as steady with a UMP as it would be with a FAMA. So you want to try and get the assaults high up on the high ground and the uh, UMPs close and personal sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just got to point out there that uh, FM Aaron just picked up a little nice four piece there just when we had them um, spawn trap basically came up top escalators took all three of them out I ran long haul and he got the nice little four piece there as you can see me here we're just waiting for the right time to push into A United goes in first and I follow him and then we're just gonna wait we're just gonna wait until we get a nice setup but obviously one guy sneaks up behind us Aaron again for the clutch kill yeah some some people like to you know, sit in that little corner that you don't expect and, you know, they get behind you and kill you when you least expect it. So you need to kind of get in the whole of the A area and kill everyone and, you know, get the spawn trap on the go. Yeah, as you can see here, we got all four players still alive. We've got uh, all positions set up and covered. We haven't been able to hold on to the bomb three times now. We're going to try and do it this time. We'll see how it goes, I guess. Uh, I just pick up a nice little two piece. I should probably be pre aiming red, but after I got the two kills and the capture cards on, I went for a montage. Uh, I went <laughs> for the next two kills for the montage. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, yeah a, good a good tip, tip is, is if you're, if you're it, don't, don't try and sprint, sprint too much, you know, know pre aim a bit around the corner, uh, uh, you know, yeah, so, so someone doesn't, doesn't just, just, you know, pre aim you first. You want to pre aim them before they they pre aim you, sort of thing. So. Don't go rushing into anything. Pre-aim a bit. And as you just saw there again, Aaron just picked up two kills. Like, uh, when you're last alive, I wouldn't advise standing up or running around, which a lot of players do. I know it sounds obvious, but a lot of noobs, they just stand up a lot and they don't sit in corners when they're the last alive. As you saw there, Aaron just killed two of us and gave his team a chance to get back up to the bomb site. Unlucky for them, we managed to push him back again and get the bomb down again. Yep. And after your fifth time of planting the bomb or something, uh, I think this time you finally hold it and uh, win the game. Yeah, I think this time we decided that enough's enough. Let's just sit in corners basically and just defend this bomb site. Yep. So that's what we did. Uh. Just to wrap this up, basically, we win, we go on to win this 2-0. Uh, thanks for listening. If you liked it, please subscribe and leave comments. And I would like to give a special thanks to Tonka for helping me out with this commentary. No problem, mate. See you in a bit. See ya. See ya.